All right, babies, it's that time again. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. We got some fog, sort of caressing this hill in front of me. Gorgeous. Love it, baby. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, we looked into Luke 20. Some parable about wicked tenants who didn't take care of a field. And ended up killing the owner's son when he was inquiring of what they did with the land. And so Jesus is reported to have said you have rejected the chief cornerstone. And then they can, they have him saying something that's just, yeah, just it sounds too much like the uh, the Old Testament ideas of God. So I'm not a big fan of the story, <laughs> even though I do believe Jesus did teach in parables. I think uh, after 60 years after he's uh, exited, I think the story's got a little embellished. So I prefer to just connect with what he's doing right now in me. Oh yeah, baby. And he's not threatening me None of that. It's just living with him. Oh yeah. And seeing as we're one with him, how exactly are we not living with him? Oh yeah, baby. But we get it in our mind, right? We think like, oh, well, if I, when I pray, then I'm, you know, I'm focused on God instead of like, focus on God all day long, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. Meaning, accept the things that happen to you as means of improving your godly character by his spirit. That's what I mean by that. And let his presence in you instruct you on how to conduct yourself. Oh, yeah. Car's going well. Diet is going well. Exercise is going well. Sleep is improving. So yeah, we're in a good spot, sweeties. We're in a good spot for receptivity. All antenna are up and blinking. <laughs> or is it antenna? I, I don't know. So what can I tell you today? Didn't get much help looking into the Bible, so I have to look around and see what is happening. Well, here's something that might help you. Let me get a little ginger tea first. Oh yeah, baby. So 
So one of the things I was thinking about just now is how people look forward to weekends so much. Because a lot of them, a lot of the time, you don't have to work on Saturday or Sunday. So that's understandable. You know, I'm like that too. But I try not to make too big of a deal of of it because then it's like, oh, Monday. (laughs) By comparison, right? So I just look at it all as the same based on what I was just telling you. We never get away from preparing ourselves to be blindsided by human stupidity. (laughs) It's every day. Either uh, a negligent act or an inconsiderate decision or some kind of selfish display of ignorance (laughs) and you got to deal with it in the holiness of the Lord oh yeah baby so that can happen just as much on the weekends as it can while you're working so if you find your pleasure in adding to God's pleasure that every day, every moment is a fertile opportunity for growth and exaltation. So that's my recommendation to you, baby. This other thing that's going on at work is we have this new evaluation tool. Like instead of uh, just being evaluated by some administrator visiting you twice a year It's more organic in creating organic projects throughout the year that reflect the fabric of your impact on the community. Oh, yeah. Similarly, with God, we should rejoice in those opportunities because every time you see growth, honey, it's encouraging. And so you got to take risks to branch out and be more effective at what your purpose is. I see the same thing at the gym. You know, I document all of my uh, growth at the gym. And more often than not, every time I go to the gym, there's something I'm either doing with more weight or with more repetitions than the last time I did the exercise. Oh yeah, baby. And then if it's not, then I start evaluating that I might be missing something in my discipline. Because if you're strict in how you prepare yourself, can't help but um, 
experience measurable growth. Oh yeah, baby. 